What's up everybody and welcome back to another awesome video. Today I'm gonna to give you five tips on how to edit faster in Final Cut Pro. I do a lot of editing, so for me it's very important to be efficient. And hopefully with these five tips, you can implement them into your editing workflow and save time and money in the long run. So with that said, we're gonna hop onto the computer, we're gonna open up Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna give you these five tips so that you can edit like a machine. So I got Final Cut Pro open, and I imported a clip that I shot uh, a couple of weeks ago on the Xiaomi 11T. And we're gonna work with this clip during this video. And the first tip I have for you guys is to have different workspace presets. So when you head over to window and go to workspace, you got different workspace presets that you can save. So you can either have it on default, organize or color and effects, but I actually created my own, which the first one is the basic one, which you see right now. And I usually use this workspace when I start editing my videos. And once I did the basic edit, I changed to my color workspace um, where I start color grading or color correcting my shots. And this is really useful because I can save time by not having to open different layouts and adjusting each uh, window. And if you don't have a workspace preset, you can easily create one for your own. And once you have it, you can easily uh, save it by selecting save workspace as, and you can name it, for example, workspace one, and then select save. And the great part about it is that if you made some changes to your workspace, you can easily update it as well. So my second tip is to create keyword collections. This way you have your files organized. And the way how I do it is I actually created a zip file in my YouTube folder. So over here, I have the zip file called project name. When I double click on it, it creates a folder, which I can name tutorial. And when I open that folder, you can see that my folders are structured. I have the A roll, B roll, audio, music, screen recording, sound effects, and all of that. And usually I put my SD card in and I drag the clips into my A roll or B roll. The audio that I uh, downloaded from Artlist, I save into my musics folder. Maybe I did some screen recording, I added in here. And once I did all of that, I can head back to Final Cut Pro and I can click on my event and select Command I and go to my uh, folder and actually import all of these folders uh, into Final Cut Pro and make sure in the keywords section uh, from folders is selected. This way it will create these keyword collections for you. Now, if I select import, I don't have any files in it, but to give you an example of how it would look like if I open a different library, if I open up how to shoot cinematic video with the Xiaomi 11T, um, I got different keyword collections in it and this is super helpful to find certain files. So tip number three is to use keyboard shortcuts and this will massively improve your editing workflow. I use them all the time and it's also important to know the other shortcuts, not the customized one, but the ones that are already created so that you don't always have to use your mouse. Now in order to customize your keyboard shortcuts, you can head over to Final Cut Pro, select commands and customize. And here are some of the keyboard shortcuts I use very often. So the first one would be audio fade, which applies fades to the audio by selecting control option X. So for example, when I head over to my clip, I can select control option X. And when I zoom in, you can see that it will create these fade handles on each side also at the end of the clip. And this is quite useful if you have, you know, lots of cuts in your video, especially in your A roll, where you can easily fade out and fade in to have a smoother audio transition between two clips. So another one I find useful is trimming the start or end of a clip. So when I type in trim, I have, for example, trim start, which is option, uh, left bracket or option uh, right bracket. 
So let me show you how I use the uh, trim tool when editing my A-roll clip. So let's play back the first clip. What's up mobile shooter and welcome back to another awesome video. The video you just saw was shot on the Xiaomi 11T. Xiaomi? <laughs> Xiaomi, has re Xiaomi has reached out to me to test out pasta. All right, so I made a mistake over there. So I can actually select B for blade, and then I can scroll all the way to the end of this clip. Instead of selecting the blade tool, I can just easily select option left bracket to delete the left side of the clip. And now I can continue editing the clip. And then T, Xiaomi has reached out to me to test out their new uh, phone. So again, I did a mistake. I'm gonna place the cursor over here and then select the clip and select option left bracket and it will cut out the left part of the clip. So when I play it back. The video you just saw was shot on the Xiaomi 11T. Xiaomi has reached out to me to test out their new phone. Much better. So now I can also apply those audio fades that I mentioned before. So when selecting both clips, I can actually select control option X and it will create a fade between those two clips, making it sound smoother. So the fourth tip I have for you guys is to play back the clip faster. So by selecting L, I can increase the speed of the playback. So when I play back, and select L. Awesome video. And this is a very useful shortcut because, you know, my A-roll clips usually tend to be around 20 to 30 minutes long and listening to it in normal speed will take forever. So by really speeding up uh, the playback time, you're way more efficient. And what I suggest you to do is once you have your A-roll, I recommend editing it right away. And this way you easily remember when you messed up and can easily trim out those bad parts. Now my last tip for you is to create a uh, color presets. So for example, I already color graded this clip. Uh, this was shot on the Sony A7S III in S-Log3. And if I like this color, I can select it. And below I can select Save Effects Preset. And here I can select different attributes. So I'm just gonna select the color effects. And once I have that, I can name this preset. So for example, S-Log3, orange and teal day, which will save it into my custom color folder, which is right here. And I can always delete it if I want to. I can just right click on it, reveal in Finder, and just select it and move it to the trash. And you can also do this for the audio as well. So in this clip, when I go to audio, I have the compressor, limiter, and channel EQ. And this clip was recorded uh, using the Rode Wireless Go 2, using the Lavalier Go. And once I made my audio adjustments, I can head over to Save Effect Presets, and as you can see, I have compressor, limiter, and channel EQ selected, as well as volume. And I can name this, for example, Rode uh, Wireless Go 2 um, plus uh, limiter plus EQ uh, plus compressor, for example. Select Save. And when I head over to Custom Audio, I have it saved here and each time i record with the rode wireless go 2 uh, i can drag this preset on to the clip all right guys so these were my five tips on how to edit faster in a final cut pro hopefully you found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe as well this way you will help me continue making these awesome tutorials for you guys and if you're not a member of the private smartphone filmmaking group on facebook make sure to join as well i'm always happy to have new members coming in we currently have 2300 members which is awesome and there you can easily share your work and get feedback from others and also ask questions also if you haven't downloaded my free smartphone filmmaking guide make sure to do that as well as this can help you get started making mobile quality content fast with that said guys thank you so much for watching stay mobile keep it safe and i will see you in the next video